Hello everybody, Tyrone the Guy 3 here, and welcome to part 55 of the Emerald LP. And in this part, we are going to be battling this sick, sick, sick man who traps women in ice dungeons. Nah, no, I'm just kidding, his name's Juan. But anyway, yeah, Juan basically was the uh, person who taught Wallace, the guy we met during the in the Cave of Origins. He taught Wallace pretty much everything he knows about Pokemon, and uh, he... in Ruby and Sapphire, you battle Wallace as the final gym leader. But in this game, you battle um, you battle Juan instead of Wallace. So yeah. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and um, and begin the battle. As you all have noticed, he uses Water type Pokemon. So without further ado, let's do this. So yeah, I'm, I apologize that this screen isn't as big as it should be. I thought it worked in Photoshop, but you know stuff happens I'll explain everything love disc is the only female Pokemon he has because uh, love disc have a higher female ratio with 75 the love disc is at level 41 he has a wish cash which is a water slash ground type at level 41 Celio's at level 43 crawled on at level 43 He has a Kingdra with a wish cash berry and that's at level 46 uh, the Kingdra basically has a wish cash berry because uh, Kingdra has the move rest and the rest move Pretty much makes it so that uh, Kingdra will have full HP once it uses rest, but it'll use the Wish Cash Berry to wake up immediately. It's a combo that some trainers use online and stuff like that, but yeah, whatever. One of the things that really annoys me about this Love Disc in particular is that it has two moves that um, will annoy you a lot. The one, it'll obviously use Water Pulse, which for some reason in this game, I don't know if it's this game. But or the uh, just I had just had bad luck to in this battle, but Water Pulse has a really high confusion rate. I don't know what it is. Like Water Pulse can confuse the opponent, but I don't remember it being able to confuse opponents this easily. Maybe it's because I'm playing this game, or like I said, maybe it's because my uh, luck is very bad. But regardless, as this and also has the move Sweet Kiss, and Sweet Kiss has a chance of making you confused as well. So, Love Disc has two moves that can make you confused. I pretty much, my plan was to try to make uh, Slasher use Sword Dance a bunch of times so I can go ahead and sweep a lot of these Pokemon without them having to heal. I screw up here and end up using Slash thinking that it'll finish Celio off, but it doesn't end up finishing him off because Celio has a lot of HP. It uses a War Beam, and a War Beam's an Ice move, and Slasher's part flying, so that wasn't good for me. So, yeah. That was, that was bad on my part, and I just go ahead and switch to Pelikill, but I keep forgetting. It's like, darn it, I forgot that Pelikill is part flying type, and flying type Pokemon are weak against um, are weak against ice type Pokemon. So I freaking accidentally keep Pelikill out here, and he I already knows Celio is gonna go ahead and use Hyper Potion to heal all of his health because it's in the red. I freaking switch out to uh, Iron Sides. Another dumb move on my part. I apologize because I. I freaking forgot that Ironsides is part ground type, which means that um, the ice type and water type attacks are going to do a lot of damage. My mindset was thinking Celio is part steel type, so I could hear it knock it out with like the metal claw or something. But then again, I have a dumb moment and not realize that um, steel type attacks are uh, water type is resistant to steel type attacks because, you know, water makes uh, steel rust. So, I freaking use um, Headbutt to just go ahead and try to make it flinch, which worked for the most part, but the freaking, I think it was Water Pulse or War being one of the two, knocks Iron Sides out. So, I just go ahead and use uh, Trizard, or no, I use Zagzagoon so I can use Thunderbolt to wipe Celio out. So, yeah, it's a good thing I taught Zagzagoon Thunderbolt because it's a good way to sweep through a lot of the Pokemon that Juan has. You know, he has Water-type Pokemon. I figured Electric-type would be the, uh, teaching Zagzagoon Thunderbolt would be good. Freaking Celio lives by like 1 HP. I hate that he's hanging on like that, but you know, I just go ahead and say screw it in your shadow ball. And then knock Celio out. So yeah, now that Celio's knocked out, I go ahead and um, battle Wish Cash. He uses Wish Cash because Wish Cash is a water slash ground type Pokemon. And that means it won't have it won't be weak against the uh, thunder attacks, electric attacks, so it won't do any damage. But it does have a quad weakness to grass type Pokemon because ground and water are both weak against grass. So with that said, one grass type attack from Trizard is going to be more than enough to completely wipe Wish Cash out. 
and Trizard, I really gotta thank Trizard for being my ace in the hole in this battle. Like, there's a lot of things to watch out for, even if you have a grass type Pokemon and you're battling Juan. Because, yeah, if you have a grass type Pokemon and you're battling Juan, you still gotta look out for the fact that Juan has a, um, has. All, some of Juan's Pokemon have ice type attacks like Kingdra, Celio. Yeah, they have ice type attacks. So they can and ice type does a lot of damage to grass. So yeah, I go ahead and use Blizzard on the high hopes that it'll do I know it won't do super effective damage because uh water's resistant to ice because you know ice melts uh water melts ice. So I just go ahead, but I do go ahead and use the Blizzard hoping it'll do just enough damage to, you know, bring Kingdra down or at least mess with Kingdra. Or I figure if I get enough Blizzards in, I can more than likely freeze Kingdra. And I, I really like that this second Blizzard actually does what I was hoping. Like I figured since this was an LP, the LP curse would kick in and, you know, I would get screwed in this battle. But no, I luck out and Kingdra ends up getting frozen so I take this opportunity to switch in the Trizard and use the Leaf Blade attack yeah Water Slash Dragon is a really messed up typing by the way because this means that even grass type attacks like my Trizard uh, is Leaf Blade here will only do normal damage it won't do um, super effective because Water Slash Dragon type Pokemon are only weak to Dragon type attacks and the future fairy type that's coming later but like as of now water slash dragon type pokemon on, would only be weak to dragon because uh, the water knocks out a lot of the other weaknesses that it would have had so yeah with that said i go ahead and knock out kingdra because i lucked out i use thunderbolt on crawd on it brings it down to half and then i think i take a crab hammer but the crab hammer isn't strong enough to beat zagzagoon so i just go ahead and finish the battle up with uh, another thunderbolt but yeah, I really, gotta, I really gotta say, for the last gym leader, I, I did relatively well. Like this was relatively one of my easier battles, and it's more or less because like there was a lot leading up to this. You know, like after you beat the the gym leader, after you beat the seventh gym leader, Liza and Tate, then pretty much all you have to do afterwards is beat a lot of Team Magma members, fight a bunch of Team Aqua members, and then. Um, move on to battle a lot of the trainers that I off screened in order to head to Sky Pillar because you know I skipped them for the LP's benefit you know because I didn't want to take two parts two or three parts to get to Sky Pillar when we can just take one so yeah with that said um, I'm really grateful that I was able to uh, get all of that experience together and come up to Juan and defeat him so now we have our rain badge Yay, and with this rain badge, we have all eight badges necessary to enter the Pokemon League. And this badge pretty much makes it so that every Pokemon can obey you when in a trade. Because back then, well, in a lot of games, all of them actually, if you receive a Pokemon from a trade, then the Pokemon... Oh, we get Waterfall, by the way. Uh, I mean, not Waterfall, Water Pulse. We can use Waterfall outside of battle. If you get a Pokemon in a trade, then if you reach a high enough level then it won't obey you unless you get the badge necessary for it to obey you so yeah with that said i'm very grateful for that but you know check it out we've come a long way from uh, since episode one of the emerald lp we finally have all eight badges necessary to enter the pokemon league yeah i gotta say come we come a long way from episode one but yeah i'll be showing a lot of extra episodes and then i'll go when you all see me again my pokemon will be stronger and i'll be pretty much ready to finish this so until then everybody tyrone the god three out see y'all then everybody Okay, so not only do you imprison women, you freaking where freaking where were you during the whole Sutopolis weather titans crisis? Like, where were you when Groudon and Kyogre were battling it out, and your hometown was literally going to get destroyed? Huh? Where were you, Juan? God, you 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 make me sick. I can't believe you.